Uh, Dr Ian Campbell kindly uh, jo I knew I'm Ian Campbell for a very long period of my life So did I and as Did you? And he was a very skinny man uh, But Dr Ian Campbell is a UK obesity expert and advisor to the UK government Doctor, good morning to you uh, Good morning You are um, uh, touring this country talking about uh, obesity which is a problem from both our respective countries um, What is the role of the size of dinner plates? Uh. Well, it's, uh, it's been a very fascinating journey for me, meeting leading health professionals, meeting uh, government officials, and just generally speaking to people about the nature of the problem here. Among the many reasons why we have a weight problem in Australia, one seems to be a very simple problem. The, the, the width, the diameter of our dinner plates has been increasing over the past two decades. It used to be that a dinner plate only measured 23 centimetres. Now it's about 28. Problem is, we're filling that extra space with, with extra food that we don't need. I was talking to Bernzo earlier this morning, Doctor, and saying, if you look at the old movies, if you look at a movie with Cary Grant or Jimmy Stewart in it, they are very slight men. They, they, the, the, and I wonder whether that is because, in that day and age, they didn't eat as much. Well, clearly it is because they didn't eat as much, and certainly they were, in general, more active. I mean, going back to the early 80s, only about 5% of adult men were obese, and today it's about one in four men have an obesity problem. So you can see how much it's increased in just a, you know, a couple of generations. Is it a question of affluence? Affluence is certainly it part be. of it, um, because we have a much greater choice of food. We know that when you're presented with much greater choice, which we, of course we all enjoy, we do eat more. Um, but also we're able to eat out a lot more, whether it's takeaway food or just sitting in restaurants. And that's where portion sizes have increased as well. Well, so you say that the... the see, the, well, I've had the same dinner set since I got married, which is 30-odd years ago. Um, so our, my plates haven't got bigger. wedding cake. Yeah. <laughs> my <laughs> plates haven't got bigger. Are you saying that it's because we're eating out at restaurants now that the restaurant plates have got bigger? Well, what, what we do know is that the manufacturers of dinner plates have told us that the, the models they used to use are significantly smaller than the ones they use now. People that like to see a larger plate on the table. And what we also know is that the portion size of the actual amount of food, which has been very carefully measured in restaurants and in takeaway outlets, has significantly increased. Not just that, the sort of volume of, of uh, drinks that we have, sugary drinks when we go to the movies or, or again, in restaurants, has significantly increased. And these are all what we call empty calories, foods that you don't really need but which pack, help you to pack on the bones. We thank you very much for your time, uh, Dr. The Ian Campbell, that, uh, that Burns and I knew so very well was uh, very skinny. Is uh, this Ian Campbell skinny? He's, he's of normal weight, let's put it that way. Sure. And did you watch the, the uh, soccer this morning? Yes, I did. I stayed up to watch it and I wish I hadn't. Was it a goal? It was definitely a goal, uh, which it brought us to 2-2 two, two at half-time. Might have changed the shape of the game, but uh, certainly uh, no sour grapes on my part. Jeremy deserved to win. Good on you, Doc.